big of a problem would it be for a pilot flying from Seattle to San Francisco to be just one degree off course? Well, he would wind up missing the airport by 10 miles. One degree doesn't seem like much, but in the end, it takes us somewhere completely different. Our choices are like headings on a compass. If our choices are off by even just a little bit, we can miss our final destination by miles. One degree, one choice is hardly noticeable. But if left uncorrected, we'll end up where we never wanted to be. The ability to choose is powerful. Correctly used, unlimited opportunity is ours. By consistently making the best choices, we become unstoppable. It unleashes our vast potential and life becomes a satisfying journey of abundant happiness. During this creation health presentation on choice, we'll learn about the physiology of choice, the importance of making good choices, how to strengthen our frontal lobe functioning in order to make better decisions, and the trustworthy principles that lead to dynamic living. Dr. Winnie King explores the issues and techniques for staying on course by consistently making the best choices. The power of choice is one of the strongest forces on Earth. It has the ability to build up and the potential to tear down. Are you using your power of choice for good? The power of choice is located in a part of the brain called the frontal lobe. This is the mind's seat of authority. It's the brain's decision center. The powers of judgment, reasoning, social norms, and long-term planning all come from here. Now, most creatures have this brain function, but we find something very different in humans regarding the size of the frontal lobes. For instance, in dogs, the frontal lobes comprise just 7% of their brain, and it's 17% in chimps. But in humans, the frontal lobes take up more than a third of the brain's total area. And this tells us that our reasoning and planning capabilities are intricate, powerful, and complex. Unlimited opportunity awaits those who harness this power by making the wisest choices. The power to choose is having the opportunity and ability to evaluate multiple options and then selecting the one we prefer. Every day we make choices intentionally and unintentionally. Deciding to take action requires us to exercise our power of choice. Doing nothing is also a decision. Living by design or by default is a choice. We either shape circumstances or we are shaped by them. It's our God-given privilege to take responsibility for our lives and align our choices with our values, beliefs, and dreams. The first step toward improving our life is deliberately choosing the better choice in the moment of decision. Having the ability to choose is motivating and it creates numerous physical and psychological benefits. For example, residents in a certain nursing home were given more control of their lives and extra choices. They were told they could have omelets or scrambled eggs for breakfast, but that they would have to choose the night before. They could watch movies on Wednesday or Thursday night, but they would have to sign up in advance. They were shown plants from which to choose one for their room and were instructed to water and take care of it themselves. Residents on another floor of the same nursing home, however, weren't allowed to choose what they wanted for breakfast. Neither were they offered the opportunity to sign up to see a movie. Movies were just shown. Lastly, they were given a plant for their room and the nurse took care of it for them. The researchers were studying how the ability to choose and a sense of control affects people. The residents who were given choices and a sense of control were more alert. They participated more and felt better. Additionally, fewer people in this group had died 18 months later. This astonishing fact indicates that choice and control have a positive impact on our longevity. Ever find yourself struggling to make a decision? When making choices, remember these two principles. First, bad choices cancel good choices. For example, when it comes to diet, 
Some people give themselves a free day where they can enjoy a few guilty pleasures. Before they know it, they've had chocolate cake for lunch, Dairy Queen on the way home from work, and cookies and milk before bedtime. A string of bad choices easily cancels good choices. Reinforce good choices by reducing counterproductive ones. Enjoy a guilty pleasure, but without wiping out the excellent progress that you've made. The second principle to remember is that good choices taken to extremes create poor outcomes. A perfect example is exercise. Exercise is good, but too much is unhealthy. Hours in the gym can cause people to burn out on exercise altogether. Strive for balance and reinforce good choices by reducing or eliminating counterproductive ones. A healthy functioning frontal lobe is vital for living a healthy life. Everything we hope to be, have, do, or become starts here. And it's within our power to strengthen this part of our brain, which will help us to make better decisions, thereby improving the quality of our life. Here are six ways that you can choose to start strengthening your frontal lobe immediately. Choose to think positive thoughts. The right frontal lobe tends to be over-dominant when a person is depressed. When we think positive thoughts, we decrease the negative activity in that area of the brain. Choose to engage in physical and mental activity. The brain and the body affect each other. Exercise increases blood flow to the brain, which increases organ function. Doing thought-provoking activities such as crossword puzzles, Sudoku, and other mind games also increases blood flow to the brain. Enjoy a massage. It helps increase blood flow throughout the body, and when this happens, the body naturally prioritizes blood flow to the brain. So a massage is not only a great way to soothe tired muscles, but it also increases mental performance too. Get some sun. Sunshine stimulates the entire body. It reduces cortisol, a stress hormone, which is important because your brain functions best when it's relaxed and not stressed. All of this works together to sharpen the mind. Eat plenty of complex carbohydrates. The brain uses carbohydrates almost exclusively as its fuel. Carbohydrates are essential to healthy frontal lobe functioning. Adding complex carbohydrates to your diet not only helps you feel better and think more clearly, it'll brighten your mood. Listen to enjoyable music. Music affects your body, so choose uplifting, positive, happy, peaceful music. Eliminate music that creates negative feelings. Ask yourself, what does this music make me think? How does it make me feel? If the answer is negative, then change the channel. We can improve our lives right now by deciding to make better choices, whether it's what you eat, see, hear, or experience. Choose wisely. Live well. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus said he wants to give us abundant life, abundant in health, happiness, strength, joy, and satisfaction. Are your choices creating that kind of life? If not, Regardless of where you are today, you're only one choice away from improving your life. You're only one choice away from a new beginning. So choose to intentionally exercise your power of choice. Choose to unplug and rest often. Choose to create an environment that nurtures your soul. Choose to stay young and healthy through activity. Choose to trust in God. Choose to enjoy interpersonal relationships with others. Choose to have a positive, life-empowering outlook and choose to enjoy life-enriching nutrition. This is life as God intends it. He wants us to live life to the fullest. Well, we've covered a lot because choice is the foundational element of creation health. Don't forget, choice is within your control and it's a powerful thing. And most importantly, remember to be kind to yourself when you drift off course. All you have to do is adjust your course and keep going. And if you do this often enough, you'll eventually reach your desired destination. Because it really is true what U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell once said, none of us can change our yesterdays, but all of us can change our tomorrows. 
That's Creation Health.